Hi, right, today we're going to take the VRIF uh, menu holder and we're going to be able to toggle between VR and AR depending on what the player wants to do uh, with the project that you're making. And to be honest with you, it's kind of a cheat. Um, I'm sure there's other ways of doing this and if you know any other ways, let me know. Uh, we are using an XR rig that I already have set up for AR. Uh, I will put a link in the description below for my tutorial on how to set up AR uh, pass-through in Unity using VRIF. Uh, it's it's a little bit of a process, but it doesn't take very long. So uh, if you haven't already set that up, go back to that video and come back to this. So as you see, I've got things kind of already set up a little bit on this. Um, and I'm going to kind of show you how I go through when I make this work. Basically, this is the menu screen of the menu holder, the debug menu under VRF, uh, and then under load scene buttons. And I've just kind of moved things around, created my own buttons. Um, and I've got a few different options here. And actually, I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to turn the AR one on, um, and we'll get rid of the low poly or we'll turn the low poly button on right now because we're in the low poly mode um this is just a little room that i created to be able to kind of i don't know experience this for people to be able to kind of experience this project so under the ar button what we're going to do is we are going to take it's actually really simple and let me explain what I'm going to do real quick and then I'll show you that way if you want to just go and start doing this instead of watching the rest of this tutorial you could probably figure this out all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this room that I created this little poly house and I'm just going to be toggling and off and on so since I already have the pass through set up um, on this project if you're not in a room um, then you're it's just going to show the pass through and then whatever other things are on there so basically if we get into the project right now with the low poly house turned off uh, and get into the, the VR goggles into the quest 2 uh, we're going to be basically be seeing her and that's it and then and then the room that you're in and so you're going to you're going to be utilizing the pass through on that and then we toggle back on uh then all of a sudden you're just going to be in kind of a vr world all right so the things i'm going to want to do here um is basically take this low poly house Go to set active off. And then when we push this button also, since we're gonna be in AR mode, we don't need the AR button on right now. It's just gonna be taking up some extra space in our menu. Um, I am right now. Um, so one of the ideas I was gonna have is to have like three different options. So they could do AR, they could do a low poly, um, which would help if their you know Quest Two is just struggling a little bit with the processing power, and then I'm probably gonna have a like an actual like a little bit more um, HD type of room that you could play in, which will probably be more useful on a PC versus on the actual Quest Two. We don't need this care objects button right now, so we'll get rid of that. Um, but the other thing we do want to do is we're going to uh, turn on this low poly button. So when we hit the AR button, um, the house will go away, which will m make it so the pass through is being utilized. Um, we will get rid of the AR button on this pad here, and then the low poly button will show up, which is right there. 
So now when we hit the low poly button, we want to take the low poly house and we want to bool it active. We need this button, this button. And then, uh, let's see. Yeah, so when we hit the low poly button, the AR button will appear, the low poly button will disappear, uh, the house will reappear, so we'll be in a low poly environment. Um, and actually, just to not be so confusing, we're just going to change this to just for right now, we're just going to change it to say VR. So I have AR and VR. This is the other thing I'm going to do real quick is since we don't want to muck up this, since we don't want this uh, menu to be too busy, uh, what we'll do is let's copy the position of the AR button and we're going to paste the position here. So that way that both the AR and the VR button will be in the same spot, won't be taking up uh, any extra space on the menu. And that's actually all we're gonna do on that. I, we should have it set up. So we're gonna test this out. I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build the project to my quest two.